Hello and welcome to November Oak Forest Bremen District Television Oak Forest Student Life Edition. Where we make sure you're updated on all the events and activities going on in your school, Oak Forest. I'm Jake. And I'm Liz. Hey Liz, is it hot in here? No Jake, that's just the Oak Forest students winning the Firefighters Combat Challenge. Recently, Oak Forest High School's academic and talented program won won the Junior Varsity Championship and Participation Trophy for winning the Combat Challenge. The students involved were Nauer, Julian, Gianna, Brandon, and Addison. Osama, Claire, Alyssa, George, and Anthony, and Jeffrey were also involved. The event took place in Food for Less's parking lot at Central Avenue and 159th Street. <coughs> Burn Baby Burn. It's a disco inferno at the Oak Forest Homecoming Week activities. Oak Forest Student Council sponsor Amy Bertland has announced activities for Homecoming Week. The whole week has been scheduled for activities such as Class Colors Day, Crazy Clash Day, Alter Ego Slash Nerd Day, Superhero Villain Day, uh, all Superhero Villain Day, and finally uh, Black Gold Spirit Day. All students were excited for the dance when the week finally rolled around. Celebremos Las Independencia Mexicana. Let's celebrate Mexican independence. Last month, Oak Forest High School's Hispanic Club, sponsored by Danica Mathis and Eric Gomez, did celebrate Amer Mexican Independence Day. The Hispanic Club was taught the world language students about the culture of their homeland through folkloric dance and various traditions. The celebration was very beneficial, beneficial for the Hispanics of Oak Forest High School. <coughs> Senior Manon Myshek is a semifinalist in the 58th Annual National Merit Scholarship Program. She's competed with about 1.5 million students for more than $32 million in scholarships this past spring. Students have qualified for the National Merit Scholarship by taking the 2011 National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. And she must take the Scholastic Assessment Test this month to compete for the National Merit finalist, Scholarship Finalist. Good luck. The Oak Forest High School's band recently played a show for the grand reopening of Food for Less and entertained a crowd of over 40 people. That's a huge crowd for the Oak Forest Bengals. The drama department, directed by John Stevens, is performing a fall comedy titled Noises Off. The play will be shown at Oak Forest High School with Brandon Lepowski as Lloyd Dallas and the director, Tara Tracy as Dottie Atley, Sam Aluisi as Gary Lejeune, Brad Swanson as Frederick Fellows, Sarah Valente as Belinda Blair, Mary Kate Thoma as Poppy Norton Taylor, Tyler Nowicki as Selsden Mowbray, and Alex Joritz as Timothy Allgood, and finally Bethany Wyatrowski playing Brooke Ashton. The play is about a play within a play, and many more plays are expected this year, so keep an eye out. Three Oak Forest students, Krista, Mc Krista and Taylor and Rebecca, finished a mural for the Acorn Library in Oak Forest. The mural's theme is based on the interests children have in storybooks and feature classic fairy tale characters. The mural is a much appreciated addition to the Acorn Library. There are obviously lots of creative and artistic students in Oak Forest. <coughs> Recently, the Oak Forest High School Marching Band brought back a 25-year-old tradition to honor veterans and public service men and women by performing the We Are American Parade, a lovely tradition brought back from a long wait. Now, let's march into some more band news. Marching Bengals joined forces with Jack Middle, Hilly Middle School Band this past month for the Step Up Day performance. The event took place in Oak Forest High School for the music programs to get out there. The bands played LMFAO's Party Rock Anthem for the crowd, which was a huge success. The bands will continue to impress audiences as they continue on with their journeys. <coughs> Oak Forest High School had welcomed two new members to their Hall of Fame Thursday, September 20th. The two are former Oak Forest students Tom Inkzoskis from class of 1987 and Karen Umloff, 1979. Inkzoskis was all-conference in golf all four years and conference champion his senior year. And Umloff helped lead the basketball team downstate and was named the second team All-State. Her dedication to the basketball and young women's programs are both very welcome in the Hall of Fame. Well, that's all we have this month. Be sure to check us out online at www.bdtv228.net and don't be shy to like us on Facebook by searching Bremen District Television. For Jake, I'm Liz, signing out.
Lynch One Kenobi, years ago you taught me the communication arts of technology. Now I need your help again for the sake of the District 228 students. The dark side of boring classes is beginning to take over. Now I need your help, Lynch One Kenobi. You're our only hope. Lynch One Kenobi, what are we going to do? We'll do what I trained you to do. Fight the dark side of boring classes. But first we'll need a montage of your training. In communications arts and technology, we use the latest in digital cameras. You also get your very own Mac computer. You get your own headset, laptop, and microphone. You get to work in the state-of-the-art television studio. What is thy bidding, my master? Afraid to be on camera? Well, in the control room, you can be behind the scenes. Skywalker, stop explaining how great communication arts and technology is, and prepare to be bored to death by my traditional classroom lightsaber. But Vader, the class is worth two high school credits and three college credits! What about homework, tests, and quizzes? There aren't any because you learn by creating your own projects! Nonsense, this can't be true. It is. Students who take communication, arts, and technology can create public service announcements, commercials, news stories, music videos, movie trailers, and much more. I see the force is strong with you, but learning should be in a classroom with books and handouts. No, you're wrong. It should be learning by doing, like in communication, arts, and technology. You even learn how to create your own music. Music? I'm Princess Leia. If you don't take this class, then I will slay ya. I got Jedi's all around me. I'm the princess of the galaxy, that's why they crown me. This class is the best, better than the rest. If you ever get bored, you got the hair on this man's chest. What? We got our Vader over here, who everybody fears. Next to me, the one and only savior. His name's Luke, doing the light side of favor. Bringing his enemies, nothing but failure. Then there's a dark side, no need to run and hide cause he's already dead. That's why they gave me the mic to come at his head. Well, that's all folks, it's time to go. And don't forget to take TV Pro. Communication, arts and technology, your videos get shown on three TV shows, Facebook, YouTube, and BDTV to tomate.net. No! Fall well, young Skywalker, and make great points to sign up for communication, arts, and technology. But there's one thing you don't know. TV Pro is your daddy.
Hi there, and welcome to the November 04 Bremen District Television News. This is the Student Activities Edition, where we will be gobbling about the past clubs and activities at the high school. I'm Grace. And I'm Damon. First of all, considering our bad acting, let's show you some good acting with a catch-up on the Oak Forest Drama Group. So this past, past month, Drama Group has performed their fall comedy, Noises Off. It was directed by John Stevens with assistant director Vis Victor Pazic and technical director Dan Chambers. It's a play within a play concept that humorously shows that what happens on stage is nothing compared to what's happening backstage. The actors include Brandon, Tara, Brad, Sam, Sarah, Mary Kate, Tyler, Alex, and Bethany. The show was packed. It brought in parents, students, and more from all around town. The next performance to look forward to from the drama group is the school musical, and that subject brings us to the choir. Recently in Kenesha, Wisconsin, the Oak Forest Mardi Gras have participated in their Bristol Renaissance Fair. They were invited to sing, show their professionalism and poise. They perform their songs live at the fair dressed in their Renaissance costumes. <laughs> now, as you can see, we are surrounded by wonderful works of festive art. I know you're thinking about how impressive they are, but surprise, they're not by the art club. But the art club has made art for the high school that may be just as impressive. The club continues to create art for Oak Forest since their goal is to bring art to the surrounding community. They designed and created a mural above the guidance office, welcoming visitors, a reminder to recycle in the lunchroom, and they created many murals for the science hall. The art club also recently organized the annual art expo during the Oak Forest Community Awareness Fair, where they hung up students' art in the hall to show it off to the community. Next, from the decorated hallways to a college, you can go with this next activity. Oak Forest High School Scholastic Ball this year increases the chances of getting a scholarship. It's an academic activity for students who like fast-paced competition, as well as looking for something to put on their job or college application. Coming back to high school, there's nothing more memorable than a good old football game. But the football game wouldn't be the same without the marching band. At the away camp, we learn about two of the uh, seasonal shows, you know, the drill and music by memory. And uh, we come home pretty well prepared for that first game. You know. <laughs> the band recently performed many shows that included a performance at the reopening of Food for Less, the We Are America Parade, and countless performances at home football games in order to prepare for the performances. The band had an early start at a way camp at North Central College this past August. The band continues to hold many practices in and out of school to prepare for future performances. Put down your instruments and pick up your firefighting equipment because the turkeys are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the Academic Intelligent Program students won the JV Championship <laughs> trophy and the Participation Trophy at the Firefighter Combat. Challenging competition recently was held at Food for Less parking lot where the students competed against 43 member high school district 228 students. They ran up and down stairs with firefighter equipment against the other schools in the district to try to grab the trophies. Going from the dangers of fire, we go to even more dangerous business field. Keep your equipment on, but fix that tie. The Business Professionals of America is leading careers in technical student organization and business. It allows students to demonstrate the workplace skills they gained through BPA as well as competing in the area of financial management. 
<clears throat> oh, damn. Well, now I don't miss place the calculators because the math fleets have recently competed in the South Suburban Conference competition. They have four regular season competitions where they complete against other schools on written, oral, and group math competitions. Or their SEC Blue Conference competitions in December followed by the ICTM Regional Competition in February to qualify for the ITCM State Championship in May. Well, you need some math experience for the mathletes. This next activity gives you a free opportunity to get your creations published for free. Oak Forest High School has free opportunities to get published in Kama Literary Magazine. You can show your writings, drawings, and poetry to the public eye with the chance of winning a free scholarship. With all these activities to be involved in, it should be easy to get in the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society gets students involved in taking a leadership role. They must excel in and out the classroom to be great role models for our community. Their goal is to try to make Oak Forest a better place and a better community to live in. Ms. Henry is the director, speaks about the society. ...that uh, recognizes students for leadership, community service, scholarship, which is their grades, and character. What do you guys do? That's all this month for uh, Bremen 228. Check us out on the uh, website at www.bdtv.228.net and like us on Facebook my search, by searching uh, Bremen District Television for more news. I'm Diamond. I'm Grace. Thanks for watching Oak Forex Activities at Bremen District Television. Good night. Hi, hello, and welcome to the Oak Forest Bremen District Tele Television Athletics Edition, where we be talking about the seat. Um, where we be talking about seat. Where we be talking about this season's fall sports and overall achievements. I'm Patrick, and I'm David. To start off, Oak Forest has had a great season in all of our fall sports. Let's take a look at Oak Forest star football player Matt Berry as an example. He has ran 472 yards and 65 carries with five touchdowns this season. And he was taken out during the homecoming game against Lamont. Oak Forest Bengals faced the Lamont Indians and had fumbled the ball, giving Lamont the opportunity to, to win with a 27-yard field goal, winning 17-14 against the Bengals. Barry's injury resulted with a torn ACL and will be out for the season. Well, ouch, that must have hurt. Varsity Boys Golf went 13-2 this season. They took third place in the regionals, which they have advanced to the sectionals of finishing second in conference. Golf player Mitch Budell shot an 85, David Koreski shot an 84, and Dylan Ross shot around an 82. Dylan's round was good enough to qualify for state. David Koreski was all conference and finished third place. Varsity Girls Golf won 7 4 this season, and Junior Varsity Girls Golf won 1 6. Lady Bengals won all conference and were placed as 7th for Kelly McEthron, 9th Jackie Pickle, and 10th Cora Tucker. The team placed 2nd in conference and 2nd in regionals. They also qualified as a team for sectionals. Thanks to the seniors Kelly McEthron and Coral Tucker for four years of commitment and dedication to the Lady Bengal golfers. This year, the Oak Forest Varsity Girls Volleyball team is off to a great start. Their record this year is 16 and 17. They only have two regular season matches left to make a difference. Some of the key players in this year was Kathy Flanagan, who is a middle blocker. She has 119 kills and 63 blocks this year. Another key player is Cassidy Stanton. She has 182 service points and 341 digs. The Oak Forest Varsity Girls Tennis team is off to a great start this year. The team just finished fourth in the SSC Blue Division Conference Tournament. Key players at the tournament were Kara Colasso and Kaylin Cush, who took second place. They also tied Hillcrest in the sectional tournament. Both teams scored eight points. Oak Forest Varsity Girls Swimming just beat the Bremen Bigs 104 to 84. Key players in the meet were Elise Musudo, who won the 100, who won the 100 breaststroke, 
in the time of 1 minute and 28 seconds. She also swam in the 200 individual medley with a time of 2 minutes and 55 seconds. The Oak Forest Varsity Boys Cross Country team has been running very well this year. Some of the key players on the team is just Terry Salud, who just finished top five in his last meet. He had a fast time of 17 minutes and 9 seconds. The Oak Forest Varsity Boys soccer team is out to a rough start this year. They are winless so far this season, but the new coach Byron says they have improved in their performance on the field. They hope this is enough effort to reach their winning goal of winning three of their last six games. Girls Cross Country top runners have been seniors Mallory Lampasana and Kelly Gorney along with sophomore Mercedes Thompson. The highlights of the season were winning the 2-2-8 quad where Mallory finished in first place Kelly finished 8th and Mercedes finished 10th, also winning 4th place at the Niles, West Invite, and 2nd place at Conference. Well, that's all we have this month. Make sure you check us out online at www.bdtv228.net and like us on Facebook by searching Bremen District Television. Happy Thanksgiving from David and I.